buy make up around 10% of our ecological footprint. But the shelf life of these goods is often very short. In fact, the average UK home throws away over one tonne of materials every year. Bridgeport is a small town in West Dorset doing big things for the environment in the form of Bridgeport TLC, or Tender Loving Care. A centre for recycling in the middle of town, they divert four tonnes of waste material away from landfill every week. And they have a novel way of collecting the waste materials on a daily basis from local businesses. Well, I collect from charity shops, bookshops, uh, solicitors, and uh, it's just the waste cardboard and uh, uh, paper that can be recycled, old books that the pasta best for selling. Hi there. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, Good thank you. See you today. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, yeah, bye. It's got to be the, the most environmentally friendly way of doing it because the only fuel that's being used is the fuel that I've uh, consumed and uh, so there's no, there's no exhaust fumes. I enjoy doing it on the rickshaw because uh, it's a nice way to get about. Um, people are always intrigued by the machine itself and uh, it highlights the fact that you can actually collect stuff without using a car and uh, it's just fun really. Many of the waste materials collected by Don are not only recycled but are creatively reused and remade into a variety of fun products. Well this silver bag comes from the plastics factory and was full of little plastic bits. We can't actually recycle that because it's the wrong kind of plastic. But as they're so lovely and shiny, I thought it would be very useful to make them into, and to reuse them and make them into bags. So what we've got now is a bag for life for Bridport. We've put a sticker on, we called it It's In The Bag. We've put a bit of information into each bag so that people get the idea, because it's the idea of reusing stuff instead of just chucking it away. I've been going round to all the local primary schools collecting their paper for about a year and I realised that there's no school uniform recycling apart from in one of the schools in the area. And so we thought we could collect all the bits of school uniform that people don't want anymore and it saves those people on low income having to go and buy new. Bridport TLC's biggest achievement thus far has been a drop in CO2 emission. 70 tonnes, simply by recycling local veg oil. For every tonne of biodiesel we produce, we're saving two tonnes of carbon dioxide. So over the last two and a half years, we've reduced the CO2 content of the atmosphere around Bridgeport by over 70 tonnes. Well, it sounds huge, but it's not. It's actually quite a drop in the ocean. If you want to imagine, it's 24 by 4s driving normally for a year, but it's something. Making biodiesel, the process is quite simple. The hard thing is getting a source of oil. Well, we're quite lucky in Bridport that we have our own little crisp factory. So we go around there and collect their oil every couple of weeks. And we also get oil from cafes, pubs, restaurants, hotels. Bring it back here where we filter it, we heat it up, and then it goes into the biodiesel processor. Our businesses benefit in many ways, first and foremost, their main concern is they're saving money. We sort of roughly calculated that we've saved the Bridgeport local economy about £10,000 in real money. Phil Harris from King Cavs is a big supporter of the biodiesel filling station. We're not in a very environmentally friendly business being taxi drivers because we're always on the move, we're creating carbon emissions, so we had to look at the cleanest way we could do it and biodiesel was the only way we could go with this particular industry. By using the biofuel, I would imagine that we've actually cut our carbon emission by at least 50%, possibly more. Log on to www.org.uk forward slash calculator to learn more about ecological debt and find out your own ecological footprint. You can also join thousands of other people who have found tips on the best way to reduce your impact on the world.